Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to another painting, Paint with Rick. How's it going? Today we're going to do, I'm going to try and do a painting on a board, oil painting that looks darker, like something you'll see like an old master paint. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a low horizon here, so a big sky, but we'll have some big trees over here and some small trees in the distance with a little bit of water here and some land about right in here. Uh, so I'm going to just use chip brushes today or a bristle brush. It's a one inch bristle brush. It makes really cool trees, tree tops, you know. You can use any oil brush you got, but I'm also going to use a, a fan brush to lay out like my horizon and stuff. This is a signet. <clears throat> I had a subscriber mention. He said not every uh, chip brush is the same, and it's the same thing with fan brushes. Uh, I've had pretty good luck with uh, signet uh, brushes. Uh, Robert Simmons fan blender. So these work good. Uh, let's get started. This is going to look Try, I'm going to try and make it look like an old master painting. I'm using <clears throat> plum gray for the sky and white plum gray and for the water up here. I think if you mix purple down, you could get the same color. And of course, I'm, for the trees, I'm using sap green with black mixed into it to get that dark really dark look and then if we need to lighten any of that up we can use white or yellow to lighten up what we want i must start with the the distant horizon and use uh, sap green and black just to lay out the horizon back here so what i'm going to do is kind of uh, stamp in a horizon here pretty low this is a, uh, what size panel is this? I think it's uh, 11, uh, 11 by 14, I think, something like that, but it's pretty small. Let's just uh, stamp in a horizon there, <coughs> sap green and black. And then I'll, I'll lay out the, uh, the foreground right now for you. So I'm going to have trees coming off here. And we're going to have a uh, foreground coming down to this corner here. Right down to the corner. And then this is going to be water in here. So... Now we're going to have some distant trees back here. We'll use a chip brush to uh, put that in. Let's uh, put our water in now. Let's use a chip brush for that. I'm using a one inch chip brush. This painting should go pretty quick. I'm just going to use uh, some of the uh, plum color that I have right now. And just run some water here. I'm going to lighten it up too with some white. So... Let's just put our water in real quick so we know where it's at. <clears throat> Let it touch some of that other color. It's okay. Let's uh, wipe your brush off and go ahead and get some titanium white on it right now. And let's lighten up the back of that water. Just like that. Nothing special. We want it to look loose. There's our water. We'll do some more on it in a little bit, but let's just get our water laid in. Let's do our trees now. We're going to do, we're going to paint around our sky on our trees to get some tonalism look. So I'm going to push my uh, brush into uh, linseed oil and tap into my uh, sap green and black. And I'm going to design some trees, the big trees over here on this side. So <clears throat> let's start with a few trees, uh, just the top parts of them first. I have one there, smaller one here, and 
maybe one coming up here like this and then a small one off to the side here so let's just tap in the top parts for now just like that now let's get some more uh, paint on your brush and let's do some distant trees back over here these are going to be smaller just pushing the tops of some trees here and then just fill it in down to the horizon let's uh, start on our sky now because we're going to probably end up hitting some of the these trees but i want it to mix i want it to mix with uh, the sky so let's just get our outer edge of the tree done there just like that you can finish filling this in if you want just uh, stamp it in this is going to all be trees here we'll we'll run some uh, branches here in a little bit all right there's our trees very good this is going to be grass in here coming down our water might as well just <laughs> tap it in to stamp it in there stamp it in so you get some texture keep this down here a little lighter we're going to probably use some yellow ochre down here let's do our sky now wipe that same brush off and we're going to get a little bit of uh we're going to start with the uh plum gray and uh just tap in some plum gray up here just tap it in stamp it in and uh now get some, uh, wipe your brush off, dip in linseed oil, and get some uh, titanium white. Stamp into some white. Pick up a little bit of your plum gray, and then stamp the white around it. Just like that. Stamp it in. Bring it down to your trees. It's okay to hit your trees a little bit. We want it to mix a bit. We're going to readjust the top of our trees, so just bring it down. Let it mix with the trees. Wipe your brush off. Get some more titanium white. Pick up some of this plum gray here. And stamp your white in. Around your trees. Let it mix with your trees a little bit called the tonalism very good all right there's our sky wipe your brush off <clears throat> let's come in here on the uh, plum gray and stamp around the white and the plum gray it's almost like blending but stamp your uh, the darker color around the white okay almost like blending it keep wiping your brush off as you go all right very good let's uh, redefine our trees now wipe your brush off get some more <clears throat> get some more uh, sap grain and black on it and let's come in here don't make your trees any bigger just come at the very edge and try and get a uh, a uh, tree look at the very top just stamp it so it looks like the top of a tree just like that okay don't don't get too big into the sky down here just redefine the top of your trees just restamp them. Very good. It's looking good. I like that. Down here, let's grab some yellow ochre now. You don't even have to wipe your brush off. Just stamp into some yellow ochre. Get it to mix with some of that green. We want this painting to look dark, so 
Let's bring some yellow ochre down here. Just stamp it in. Get some more yellow ochre. We'll make some bushes down here too. I had to like, my board wouldn't fit in my easel, so I had to like lock it in there somehow. <laughs> Let's see how that's looking. Doesn't that look cool? It looks like, uh, like a, I want it to look dark, so let's uh, take your brush at the bottom of these uh, trees here and let's run it straight across so it looks like water back there, just like that. Very good, very good. Over here uh, under our trees, uh, let's get our fan brush. Get your fan brush. I'm using a number four. I want to take the brush right at the bottom of the trees there and just pull it to the right. Right at the bottom of your trees. Just pull it to the right. I blend that down a bit there. Very good. Let's uh, come in here with your fan brush and lightly blend all this now, the ground. Very lightly. Let's blend that in. Take your fan brush, wipe it off. Let's blend in our water. Straight across. Very good. 